Hello everyone and welcome back to Style Scientist. I'm Kiva Brent. In today's episode, we are going to chat about mixing modern and vintage pieces. There has been a huge, huge upswing in the purchasing of vintage furniture recently and I couldn't be more excited. I love this one, not only because it is good for the environment, but two, vintage pieces add so much character and charm to a space. But something people worry about all the time is how do you really mix modern and vintage pieces in the same space? Well, that's exactly what we're going to tackle in today's episode of Style Scientist. One of the best ways to mix modern and vintage pieces in a home is to just use vintage art frames. You can find these art frames at pretty much any thrift store or consignment store. They are just full of them and they tend to be so affordable. When looking for a vintage or an antiqued frame, you want to look for some gilding, an ornate border, or any type of rusting or oxidation. You just want to see some wear and tear on that frame. When it comes to using these vintage art frames, you can do one of two things. One, you can use them as they are. You can keep the art that you got from the thrift store in them. But if you really want to create a sharp contrast between the modern and the vintage, what you can do is put modern and contemporary art pieces in those vintage frames. I absolutely love the way this looks. That's exactly what they did in this bedroom. They have a vibrant landscape that has blues and purples in it, but they also use an older frame. I just love the contrast that it creates in this space. The next way to mix modern and vintage pieces in a space is to use lacquered and unlacquered brass. Now the reason I'm saying stick to those and not chromes and pewters is think about a really contemporary space. Think about a New York City loft. You're always seeing the chrome and the pewter. Those are ultra, ultra contemporary. So using those colors don't always make sense when you're trying to mix some modern and vintage. One of the really interesting things about unlacquered brass is that there's no protective coating on it. So it looks nice and shiny and whatever when you first get it, but over time it ages. So it really shows the age of a piece and I love it. It is so incredibly beautiful. Now, this is a really good example of how brass really ages a space. So in this desk setup, it's definitely modernized by this big black calendar on the wall. But these brass lamps just look just like rustic candlesticks, which I love. You can see a little bit of age on them and it just looks old and antique and it really works beautifully in this office space. Now this tip is very simple, but it's also one worth saying. Only update what you have to. A lot of the times we see people run into these old properties and they'll gut everything on the change, everything about it and get rid of all the charm. Unless there is something that might cause um, damage to you, if there's like lead paint or something like that, restore them if they need to be restored so that they work. But beyond that, allow yourself to enjoy the aging of the items. That is the beauty of vintage. And honestly, a lot of vintage pieces are so much better made than pieces that are being made right now. Look at this bathroom. Everything in here screams old. They have the original door. They have this beautiful flooring. They have the antique millwork. They just lean into the charm of this brownstone. And that's exactly what you want to do. Keep things as they are and enjoy the wear and tear. We want to embrace the imperfections when we are mixing these two design styles. Another great way to mix the old and the new is to repeat colors and textures to create a sense of harmony. Now, this is a piece of advice that I give you pretty much all the time when it comes to mixing any different design styles, and it isn't any different when it comes to mixing old and new pieces. When you look at this living room, you'll see that they have the rustic beams in the ceiling, and you see the same wood tone in the accent chairs and in the sideboard. All of these pieces are different ages, but they all work together because they've repeated this wood tone. Now in this bedroom, you can see that it is very, very, very contemporary at the head of the bed and then it gets a little bit more vintagey at the foot of the bed with that chest. The reason why this works is that there is a repeat of the colors. We have this dark color with that accent wall and we also have a dark color in that antique chest. If those colors were not practically the same, the chest would stick out like a sore thumb because it would feel really out of place with all of the other modern elements in this room. Something that I see people struggle with all the time when it comes to mixing the modern and the vintage is they don't remember that vintage doesn't have to mean 1600s. Vintage can mean the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. I mean, look at this space. This space is groovy. There's the orange, there's the red. It just screams 60s and 70s. And these are vintage pieces, just as pieces are that you're getting from the 1800s. 
Just keep in mind that vintage can mean a lot of things, so you don't just have to look for Versailles style items to create a combination between the modern and the vintage in your space. Something also worth keeping in mind is that when you're mixing modern and vintage, you're going for a collected look, not so much a curated look. When you're mixing these pieces, you are finding vintage pieces over time. You're finding them from your travels, by thrifting, on the internet, and an estate sale. You find these things over time. You're not just going to the store and saying, hey, I'm buying this sick set of art and they all perfectly work together. It just isn't gonna work that way. This is another case in point where we are going to embrace the imperfections in our home. Now, I just love, love this dark academia gallery wall. It is giving everything that it could possibly give. They're using color to really anchor the space, but you'll also notice that the items in the gallery wall don't all perfectly go together. These are items that have been collected. So I say shop for things you enjoy, think about a color palette, but you honestly don't have to. Just find things you like and realize that this design style is going to take some time to achieve. Now these days we don't have the same needs as people had before, right? So when we have pieces, we wanna find novel ways to use them. We don't want to bring things into our home that do not have a function. So this is a great example. This person uses an apothecary table in their dining area. So it's still providing storage for the items in their dining area. And it is a great place for them to sit decor on top of. So they're using a vintage piece, but they're using it in a novel way. Just keep in mind that we do not have the same needs as people had 100 years ago, 200 years ago, even 50 years ago. The last tip I want to share for mixing modern and vintage pieces is to layer modern and vintage pieces on top of one another, literally. Of course, we talk about layering spaces all the time, but I really want you to stack one on top of the other. This is a great to mix them. Again, we're going to repeat patterns. We're going to repeat colors. You're like, okay, style scientist, you're on repeat about this. Well, that's for a good reason, but we want to repeat those colors and patterns, but we literally want to stack them so that they work together. For example, this vintage rug sits underneath two very contemporary accent chairs, and then there's vintage art on the wall. There is a layer of vintage, a layer of modern, and then a layer of vintage. This is another example. We have a zebra print rug on the floor that has a more contemporary flair, and then we have a traditional sideboard and other traditional elements. We kind of want to evenly balance the number of modern pieces and the number of vintage pieces that we're using in a, in a space. So again, that one of them does not stick out and seem like it's in a place where it does not belong. I gave you all of the tools and tricks you need in today's video. That is how you mix modern and contemporary items in the same space. Are you going to start mixing modern and vintage pieces in your space? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to HGTV Handmade so that you can catch more episodes of Style Scientist and all of the other incredible series here on HGTV Handmade. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.